Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Fresh Come Back, you guys with yet again another fresh gaming content video and today we'll be going over how to create your own free Bedrock Edition server. So this is for all my PC, Windows 10, Xbox One, and PS4 players out there. They're all looking to connect and play Minecraft. But without further ado, it's going to be a quick short tutorial so let's go ahead and get right in the video you guys. So like I said before, today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to create your brand new own bedrock server. You don't have to pay anything for this. It's not a realm. And we're just going to like jump right in the video. The very first thing you're going to need to do is come to this website right here so that you can actually download the software used to actually run the server. The link will be in the description below. What you're going to need to do is navigate over to your downloads, drag this out, go ahead and go in here, go ahead and extract this file. You might need to use WinRAR or Windows 7-Zip. Go ahead and extract that and it's going to pop up a file on your desktop. So you can go ahead and move that, get your Bedrock server. What you're going to go ahead and need to do is do make a new server folder, just a dedicated server folder. We're going to call this Bedrock Server, just because that's what it is. And we're going to go ahead and set that right there. So what you need to do now is go ahead, after you have all that extracted and you have your new folder, go ahead and pull everything out. Set that right side by side because you'll be working with these two folders. You're going to have a couple of files in here. You're not going to have all of them yet until you start your server. So go ahead, highlight all of your files right here. Go ahead and highlight them. Once you have all of this, go ahead and drag it into the dedicated server folder that we call the Bedrock Server. That's going to be your dedicated folder. And we're going to go ahead and run your server. So simply come over here and double click your server. We're going to run it. And as you can see, it's generating brand new files. We went ahead and clicked allow access so that we can have people that want to connect to our server. They're going to have to use our IP. But we're going to go ahead and stop this so that we can go ahead and edit all of our server properties to our liking. So as you guys can see, everything was edited. We're going to go ahead and change our world name to one. It is very important that you do that. It originally says Bedrock. We're going to go ahead and change our name over to just the, we're going to call this just Dedicated Server. And then we're going to go ahead and go through some of our other server properties. We're going to go ahead and make this true, simply because we'll be using cheats, command blocks, stuff like that. Let's make it Max Players 100 because we want to make this a YouTube server for all my Bedrock players out there. And then we're going to go ahead and go through all this. It's very important that you change the level name to 1 as we did earlier in the video. You need to make that match up. And then we're going to have other stuff like this right here. I'm going to go ahead and change this to Operator Default Game Mode. It's going to be Operator simply because at first it's going to be me and my boys that we do the streams. We're all going to be Operator. So we're going to go ahead and change that to Operator. And most of my settings are to my liking. That's really all we need to change. Let's go ahead and save this right here. Close that down. So once you have that, you will be all good to go. Now what you need to do is come up into your server browser. So we're going to go to our server browser. You're going to need your IP because this is how you connect to your server is by IP. So we're going to go ahead and go to our Windows and we're going to go up here and we're going to type what is my IP and this will give you your IP address and you might need to get it for your public IP address or you might need to get it for your actual PC. Either one, this is how you connect to your Minecraft server. Now I'm not going to show you guys what my IP address is. So we're going to go ahead and bounce around, go into the Minecraft application, the Windows 10 variation, not the Java. And if you guys do not know how to port forward and you guys have any problems, there will be a video in the top right teaching you guys how to port forward. But we're going to go ahead and call this the BP server simply because when you enter the IP, you guys can't see that. We're going to go ahead and save it now. Once we have it saved, it's going to say locating server with the red dot, and sometimes the red dot will or will not be there. Once we click this, what's going to do is the red dot should go away, and then this is going to start up our server. It's going to make all of our world load, all of our level name, game mode, da da da. And then you can see the version is a 1.14.60, which you can change throughout the application. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to worlds, and we're going to walk out of that just so that we can update these settings and let the game refresh. So go ahead and go over here, go into the BP server since it is running right here so it says the server is all the way up server has started go ahead and click on the world and we're gonna go ahead and wait for this to load us in it should load the textures world and all that kind of stuff and boom we are good to go we are now in our very own minecraft bedrock server so i do hope this video was helpful to you guys if it was be sure to comment below if you guys do have any problems also comment that below so i can help you guys troubleshoot and get you guys with the ball rolling but this will probably be how we're actually going to go ahead and start running our Minecraft server uh, tutorials as well as our Minecraft server streams that we do on the channel every week. 
So, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to comment below, like, and subscribe. Helps promote the channel and helps promote the video to those who need to see the video. I will see you guys in the very next fresh video.